The Health Minister has refuted suggestions that changes to the pharmaceutical benefits scheme will cause medicine shortages. The reforms will allow millions to access a 60-day script instead of 30 days, but the Pharmacy Guild claims that will hurt their businesses. Being able to pick up two months' worth of medicine instead of one appears a good idea in theory, but according to the Pharmacy Guild of Australia, maybe not so much in practice. President Trent Toomey says the reforms would only worsen supply issues for certain medicines and some pharmacists don't have enough stock to fill a 60-day script. How do we give somebody 60 days instead of 30 when we can't get 30 in stock now? So. It's a little bit of smoke and mirrors. We feel like it's a bit of a kick in the guts. Health Minister Mark Butler disputes the claims. This is not going to change the number of tablets dispensed in a given period of time. It's simply going to mean that people can get two boxes at a time instead of having to get one box and come back twice as often. Chronically unwell Australians will save on gut fees to doctors and they'll be required to make the PBS payment once. The federal government estimates this will save 6 million Australians up to $180 each year. The reforms will begin to come into effect from September and will eventually cover more than 300 medicines. It will also bring Australia in line with countries like the UK and New Zealand. The initiative was floated five years ago on advice from the Pharmaceutical Advisory Benefits Committee. Then it was opposed by lobby groups. Now the federal government is acting on the advice, spruiking it as cost of living relief. If those spin doctors down there don't want to believe what I've got to say, get off your ass and go and talk to these guys, right? I've had Labor Party senators and MPs just take their phones off the hook because they don't give a shit, right? I'm sorry, I'm a North Queenslander, I don't mean to swear, but they just don't care. The reforms are supported by the Australian Medical Association. The full cost of the policy changes will be revealed in next month's budget.